Hey, it's your boy Jason. Um, a lot of you, if you follow me on this channel, you know that I've um, I purchased a vehicle back in 2011. It's a 2004 F-150. Uh, you know the model when they first started doing it, and uh, those guys took me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, they got me. Um, the truck needed a new engine. It had a couple of um, blown head gaskets, I'd say like that. It would probably would cost more than a new engine to get those repaired so I ended up in December getting a new engine and it has like a three-year warranty on it or whatever but the other problem I have the vehicle was the paint job so I don't know if you guys could tell from the pictures but the um, the fender above the front wheel like is faded by the hood you could tell if you look at the hood and you look at the fender that the hood looks painted but the fender doesn't and all around the doors um, above the wheel wells in the back the tunnel cover had thousands of little tiny scratches on it and um, I think the truck might have had water damage because if you look at the back mirrors right here the, the smaller windows you'll see like how the paint is dry and it has like two streaks on each side but how the paint is like kind of dried like water was leaking from the inside of the vehicle so I'm not even sure if this was a water damaged vehicle. So I decided to get a paint job and uh, let me show you guys what how it turned out. So if you look at it now, it looks completely brand new. Uh, you might notice the bug deflector on the hood is missing. But uh, this is the part I was telling you guys about before, about the stripe, the fender. This part was all ashy looking. So you can see it looks pretty new now. The truck is dirty, but you can tell all over here where they had uh, completely repainted it even right here the stripe somebody had took their fingernail and like chipped off a part of it they took the stripe off the pinstripe off all the way around the truck and redid it above the wheel wheels the back was like real the best way to describe it is ashy really ashy looking like really uh, <laughs> really dry looking and uh, the tunnel cover so I mean it's really dirty but you can um, you can see how they the water's all running up from the uh, from the finish but yeah this is how the truck looks now um, it's all shiny and sparkly it's not dry anywhere like uh or faded looking that's a that's the best way to describe it. it was faded looking like it was like the paint job was faded all over so now it looks it looks the way it probably should have when I first bought it the only thing I'm gonna do to it now is probably add a sunroof to it and um, I'm going to buy another bug deflector because they took the one I had on there off they said that the paint job looks better without the uh, without the bug deflector on there so I was, I was like, well, I'll go ahead and pick it up and take a look at it. They had it back here. And as you can see in the bed, they told me they were just going to clean it out. They took the mat. You see the mat on the floor. They took the mat out and they completely painted the whole inside of the back of the truck as well. And I'm going to tell you why I took this truck. And here's the old bug deflector right here. I took this truck to Mako. Now I heard a lot of bad stories about them. Oh, it's a cheap job, you get what you pay for, all that. But you guys are looking at it now. It still has the insignias on it. You know, they took off the Harley Davidson signs. They put everything back the way it was. You see the Harley Davidson signs are still on there. Whole new pin strike. Um the mirrors aren't the same. I had to buy another one because I actually broke it off when I drove past somebody like uh last month the month before last but it looks like it matches so and as you see the other Harley Davidson sign is still on there so yeah I think I paid about a good uh, a little less than 700 bucks for this paint job and it, and it looks original now there's still like a, a dent on there a scratch on there but since they repainted it you can't really tell unless you're really looking at it So that's it.